Farming Simulator, and I'm I'm bored, and I need someone to talk to. So I'm gonna talk to you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys about some school stories that have happened throughout my school year. Ah, <coughs> all right. And while we do, while I talk, I'm gonna be doing some cool tricks and flips that I might try to do. Yeah, <coughs> cause who doesn't like that? Hmm. Who doesn't? I don't know. Maybe a few people. Maybe a few people. That is that is completely normal. <coughs> Still got a cough going. <coughs> Anyways, ah, let me into the car. Into the car. Maybe if I try spawning it again. <coughs> um, uh, hello, car. Are you there? Hello. <coughs> this car is just. It's just. It's just not working. <coughs> Why? Why? Just. Why? Oh. Oh, this this might explain a few things. First of all, people are frozen. No one's moving. Because I'm frozen in time. And, um, not really. It's just. It's just that, um, uh. The game is super, very, extremely laggy. So I'm gonna go <coughs> out of the range of these players. That way I don't render them. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh. Right, never mind. I'm in the car. Go, go, go. Nyom. Nyom. Gameplay paused. Oh, no. Please don't take a long time. Anyways. Alright. So, here I am. I started the school year. I think it's the first day. <coughs> and I've been known for my screams and sneezes and laughs because... I'm a very high-pitched person. I can go to extremely high-pitched sounds that a lot of people don't seem as normal. Um, so, have you ever heard, like, a basketball court and how players, when going around the area, like, going around, there's always that screeching sound, like, anyways. So basically, I wanted, <laughs> I was in gym, and I was just, oh my gosh, this gameplay is just pause, isn't it? So, I guess I'll play something else. I was just, I was just there, and I wanted it to be like, I was, um, what do you call it? Like I was, like I was making skirt noises, you know, like that, skirt noises, like that. Um... When I was moving my shoes, since my shoes don't actually do that. <coughs> so, I was making those high-pitched screams. And, um, one time, we were doing push-ups and stuff. And, I don't know, I think I laughed or something, or, or something like that. And, I, I screamed, basically. And people were looking because it was a high pitched scream that hurt their ears. So so I'm I'm looking out I'm looking around to see if anyone noticed it was me. <laughs> and and um and I said that it was all right, so people were asking who it was and I since I knew it was me, I, I pointed to my friend right next to me. I'm not gonna say his name, but I pointed to him right next to me and <coughs> I said it was him. I, or, I think it was him, or maybe it was one of them, I don't know, I was just like, I was like, I don't know, who was it, and I was just finally pointing fingers, I was like, it was him, or was it him, I don't know, anyways, <laughs> and so, I did it again, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then people were really interested, like, oh my goodness, who is this, what is making that sound, and then, I revealed that it was me all along. Dun dun dun! Surprise, surprise. <coughs> and my friends are just like, David, you have an insanely high pitched scream. Can you please l notch that down a little bit? Can you please nerf two op? 
<laughs> basically. So, um, I've been renowned for my screaming because I'm way too high pitch at that. <laughs> um, oh, okay. This is, this isn't, this is kind of a weird topic. All right, but I'm going to say this. I'm a chubby boy. I'm a fat guy. I'm fat, honestly. <laughs> I am very fat. I'm not even going to take that away. You can bully me all you want. I don't care. But I am fat, okay? I, I have a chubby belly. And I'm like, I don't remember. I'm at like, I'm over 100 pounds, bro. I'm chonky. Anyways, I think I'm like 120. I'm pretty heavy. Anyways, <coughs> so, um, there's this weird thing that I can do where I can, I can... I can obviously suck on my belly. I mean, everyone can, like, well, almost a lot of people can, can, like, push their belly in, inward just by sucking in their belly, you know, if you, if, if you know what I mean. It's like, it's like, I don't know, you can't really see it, but, um, I'm just, like, flattening out my belly, um, and everyone can hold it, but they can't breathe. I can breathe, and I can also do this one thing. I can make my belly wave, like a, not like a wave, like a, a hand wave. I mean, like an ocean wave, like it will go up and down and up and down. I can also form my belly to be like a bicep. Basically, I can form my belly into stuff, which is quite weird, I will admit. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought of that for some reason. <coughs> Anyways. So, uh, what else, what else? Alright, so we're at a, we're, 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 uh, let's get back on topic, so... Um, we're talking about school stories. Um, let me think of something. Uh, what was another cool story? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, not sure if any of you guys have seen a recent movie of Disney. You probably have heard of it, but, um, I don't know. I haven't actually seen it personally, but I've heard this one song. It's called, We Don't Talk About Bruno. And, <laughs> here's this one funny thing. <coughs> so, we were, we we're saying, we we're saying we don't talk about Bruno, um, in these weird ways, like, um, <coughs> I don't remember what my friend said, but she said, we don't talk about Voldemort, but it, it was funny, because I found, um, a lot of people would do, like, weird stuff, it was always funny, um, I, I suggest you try it with your friends, if they know the song, just say, just say, um, we don't talk about, and then, and then tell them that not to say burrito, but something else. And it'll, it'll usually be funny. It's something funny sometimes. Um, I suggest you try it. It's pretty fun. Um, but basically, I did my version. And ah, I do not want to crash. <coughs> I crashed. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait, we're not even in the car? Whoa. <laughs> but I did my version. My version was. <coughs> okay, uh, do you, uh, do you guys know about the what is it called? Oh shoot. Um. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called, and I'm currently forgetting. Oh, I'm currently forgetting. Um. Ah, oh, my goodness. How am I so dumb? Um, goodness, ah, it's, oh, it's a movie, okay, okay, so, basically what I'm saying is, my version is, oh yeah, we don't talk about Remy, <coughs> and, because there was this one remix of the song. It was like, we don't talk about rats. There was an a rat in the sky, blah, 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 stuff like that. <coughs> and so basically, I was like, we don't talk about Remy. Since it was a rat. And I just found that pretty funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, all the effort just to say one character's name in a Disney movie. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways. Yeah. Um. What else? <coughs> oh yeah, um. So, <laughs> alright, um, 
there was this one time in school where um all right so basically we people were just chilling just chilling we were in our class i don't remember i think it was second period or something and i'm over here just being a bored guy and i'm like hmm what's something fun i can do i know i'll make a makeshift sword out of sticky notes so what i'm doing here is i'm i'm folding the sticky notes <coughs> um i'm taping them to themselves in like a cylinder pattern <coughs> <coughs> and then I'm putting another sticky note that's in the cylinder batter inside of it. And then I, I go six. Uh, the first one is the sixth one. The fifth, fourth, three, two, one. And then the, the very last one, which is number one, um, <coughs> has a little point on it that I made by cutting it into a little triangle-like thing. Anyways, basically, I, uh, um... I cut it, and then I, I went up to my friend, um, what am I gonna call him, uh, we'll call him Gerald, why not, my good friend Gerald, who I met in second grade once, and I suddenly found again in seventh grade that I was not expecting this to see him again, but, anyways, um, I showed it to Gerald, Gerald, and I'm like, hmm, Gerald, can I show you something, and I asked him, do you like swords? And he's like, yes. Yes, I do. And I like cannons. I don't know. He, he's really, he, he loves history and stuff. Anyways, um, he likes war. Um, anyways, so I'm like, oh, let me show you this. And so I pull out my, my long, like my long sticky note sword. And let me, let me, let me tell you something. It's almost the size of my arm. Okay, my arm's pretty long. It's about a foot and a half, I'd say. Maybe even two feet <coughs> long, okay? Um, it's a pretty long sword just for being six sticky notes put together. Um, and he's like, cool, can I try it? And he, 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 he grabs it and he just immediately impales me. I mean, he didn't kill me. I mean, okay, yeah, that's kind of dark. This is getting dark. Hold on. He didn't, like, actually stab me. Like, there, was, there wasn't any injuries. Because it, it, all it does is it just pulls back. It just pulls back on impact. It's too weak. It doesn't even do anything. <laughs> and so I'm like, bruh. Bruh. Because <laughs> I, I let him borrow a sword. Like, I let him borrow a sword. First thing he does, stab. <laughs> stab, stab, stab. Uh, anyways. Oh my gosh! There's so many fun things to do. I can't, I can't choose what. What's really cool? All right, all right. Um, I'm gonna say uh, like two more. Okay. So there's one uh thing I did earlier today in class. <coughs> all right. So I so we were doing some some proofreading. If you know what that is in English, proofreading is like um basically you gotta get the punctuations and stuff, blah, 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 I don't know, um, uh, but basically, I'm doing the punctuation and stuff, and suddenly, I get the urge, hmm, I'm using a red pen to correct, why don't I just put red pen on me, and so basically, I made my friends think that I had an injury for like 2.2 2 seconds, <laughs> all right, one more thing, something I'm super proud of. <clears throat> in STEM, sci science, um, I don't remember, <laughs> science, um, engineering, oh wait, um, science, technology, engineering, and math is what STEM stands for, I, think, I believe. We were, we had a project, with, since there's a Super Bowl thing with you coming up. We had a project. We had to make a football field goal and a catapult to launch a football. Like a mini football. It's not like an actual football. <coughs> it's like the size. See, just like spread your thumb and your index finger up and down. Just like, um, it's like the size of probably like your hand. Depends on how big your hand is. Maybe like your thumb. I don't know. I'd say an average person's thumb is probably as big a, maybe an adult thumb. I don't know, but it's pretty small. I mean, you can hold it in your hand. Um, <coughs> it's like a stress ball type. And basically, um, what we did, what we do, 
is we put it inside a little a little uh, cup, small little cup, <coughs> and we have to attach it to the catapult, or maybe it is the catapult. I don't know. Anyways, we put it with the catapult, and basically what happens is we we gotta we gotta launch it because it's gonna be out on the field goal. And basically my my plan is was apparent <coughs> my first plan. So my teammate, um, my partner on the project was okay, so I'm not gonna say her name. I'm gonna say, um uh we're gonna call her Rose. Rose um <coughs> was helping me. Uh well she wasn't helping me. She was actually on her own thing. She was making the the uh what do you call it? Um, <coughs> the goal, and she really likes buttons, she's decorating with buttons and all that stuff, um, and I'm finally starting on the catapult idea, and my first idea is cut the bottom of a cup, and attach it to the top part of the cup, and just smack the bottom of it, and we, basically, smacking the bottom will push it up the cup, sending it flying, but it has, like, no aim. And then my second idea was to grab a stick, attach the bottom of that cut cup, and just place it on the side. The teacher said it had to be a catapult. Like, a type of catapult. You couldn't just throw it manually, basically, like what I was doing. <coughs> so then, Eureka, while my friend was making this, this um, field goal really nice... I'm like, Eureka, I should have a big brain moment and actually get another brain cell. So suddenly, here I am, gaining a second brain cell. And I'm like, hmm, I just thought of something. So you know those things that you have for paper towel, the, the inside of the paper towel roll? They're like little cardboard tubes. So basically, in, the, in one of the arts and craft bins... <coughs> I mean, technically, it's not arts and craft, but it kind of is since we're crafting stuff. Anyways, there's a ha uh, like a a cut in half one of those tubes, and they're they're really um they're sturdy, so they can they they don't like they're not easy to bend and stuff. Um, <coughs> so what I'm doing? Oh my gosh, I'm loading so much. So what I did is I grabbed scissors, cut a hole at the like near the top of it of both of them. And, like, through both sides of both of them. And I put a stick through it as an axis. You know how a car has an axis? I'm not sure if you know that. But cars have axis to hold the wheels. That way the wheels can spin. <coughs> um, and basically, I'm doing that. And I have a little, um, like a, it's like a circle, cylinder, circle. Imagine that. Alright. And then I put the stick through the cylinder. And then... What I do is I then put the other tube, the other half of the tube, in there. And then I you gotta you gotta make sure you squeeze the um the two tubes against the cylinder. That way um that way the stick that I attach to it with the cup <coughs> um <coughs> attach the to it. So what I have is on the edge of the stick is the cup, the bottom of the cup. And the middle of the stick, I had hot glue attached to the, um, what do you call it? Uh, to the actual cylinder. That way, whenever the cylinder would go, it would spin with the, with the stick that's inside of the cylinder. Um, so you slap it. Boom, shake bam and yeah. And the, the thing, the tubes on the side are there to support, um, to support it because... You know, you kind of need it standing up and also so it wouldn't hit the ground and slow its momentum. Blah, blah, blah. Scientific stuff. I'm not smart. Um, and so, was I just wall riding? Hold on. Was I was I wall riding right then? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. <clears throat> so, um, the plan is that you squeeze the two tubes against uh, the cylinder. That way, it won't spin by itself because of the weight of the cup, <coughs> plus the weight of the item. And that way, it keeps it stationary. And then you can put an item in, and fling, it can go about halfway across the room. So I'm pretty proud of that, I'm not going to lie. Okay, I think that's about <coughs> all the stories I have. <laughs>
That was fun. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna do one last trick before I, uh, sign off for the day, you know. Sign off for the day. Sign off for the day. Alright, let's... The gameplay is pausing so much because it has to load the map. Load the game's content. Ah! <coughs> what is this? Burgers and other things. Northern Town? I haven't even found this. Wow. Alright, here's the idea. We're gonna jump... We're gonna... Not jump, sorry. We're gonna see what's on the other side of this cliff. We're gonna drive off the cliff. Let's see. We... Oh! Oh, wee, yay. We're gonna become a car boat. We're a boat now. Let's go. We. Oh, wait. No, wait. Go back. There we go. And almost. Forward. No. Wait. No. Just stay there while I get my nitro. And nitro. Hold on. Find nitro. Yeah. We're up. Haha! -ha. Okay, we're gonna go up this way. Maybe there's a. Oh gosh. <laughs> Maybe there's a better trick thing I can do. Oh. oh. Looky here. Oh! Ah! 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 There. Um. I think that's good. I don't know. I don't even know <laughs> anymore. <coughs> Oh, oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's the perfect way to end off the video. Hold on. I just figured it out in two, two, two point five million seconds. I figured out my plan. <coughs> All right, turn around, turn around, turn around, and today we become a plane. Lift off in three, two, one. We all right. Um, good for today. I'm gonna sign off. I'll see you guys later. Cue the outro. More bad videos. Blah blah blah. I'll see you guys later. Bye.